Everyone's good. Uh, who's the next witness? Okay, here we are back again with more of day three. And our next witness wasn't part of either one of the two violent drunken groups that we already know about. This witness was with a different drunken group, but I don't think they were violent. But they were very close by when the action went down. And this gentleman was filming. Judge, I, I guess I should know for the record that Mr. Davis has requested that he also not be recorded. I know how the court feels about it, but I'm making the request. Is he a victim? No, he's a witness. Statute allows an exception for victims. So what the judge just said was actually quite telling. Apparently, you can only make a request for your testimony to not be filmed if you happen to be a victim. And the blonde chick's testimony was not on film. So that means the court already identified the blonde chick as a victim. So as far as Mr. Davis goes, well, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're a straight male. And I'm afraid you just don't have enough blonde hair to be considered a victim. Sorry. Maybe you can try again someday if you ever get shot by the cops. Please come forward. Uh, please face the clerk. Raise your right hand. She will administer the oath. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Smestad. Can we state your name for the record, please? Valerian Davis. Mr. Davis, how old are you? 24. Uh, what uh, city do you live in? Minneapolis. Um, were you tubing on the Apple River uh, near Somerset, Wisconsin on July 30th of 2022? Yes. Uh, were you with a group of your friends? Yes. How many folks, if you remember? It was four of us in total. Um, were you drinking some alcohol that day? Yeah. How do you think you were impaired? No. Um, at some point, did your group have contact with a group of uh, teenagers having a confrontation with an older male? Yes. <clears throat> do you remember what time that was? Uh, I don't remember the specific time, but it was during the day while right. we, was, we was on the river. All right. And uh, your group of folks, do you remember how many tubes you had? We had like four strung together. You see yourself in that in that still frame? Yeah, right there with my hand up. All right, is that you standing up? Yeah. Blue shorts? Yeah. Is that your group? Yes. I'm in the foreground. Do you see a gentleman who's uh, splashing down into the water? Yes. Um, in this particular still frame, is your back to the person going in the water? Yes. All right. Um, what are you holding up in your hand? My phone. Oh, were you taking a picture or something? Yeah, I was recording a video. Of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> At some point when you were recording that video, did you realize something was going on behind you? Yeah, when I was recording the video, and I like I, I show I was showing the whole, like when I was recording my video, I was showing my whole view, and that's how I noticed what was going on in the background. All right. Did it, did eventually you turn around and start actually recording what was happening? Yes. <clears throat> Do you remember um, when you first started recording? Um, how many seconds or minutes was it after that picture where you're doing the the selfie? If you I know. say. I say it was like right after that because I, I was on Snapchat, so I saved that video and then I tried to take another video. All right, Larry, and, and uh, still 3093, do you see yourself uh, in that photo? Yes. Are you uh, standing or sitting? Standing. What are you doing in this particular frame? I'm recording the incident. All right. Uh, did you get a chance to come to our office and uh, review the video that you took? Yeah. And did you uh, put your initials on the flash drive that your video is located on? Yes. I want to show you, Judge, if I can approach. Yes. I want to show you Mr. Exhibit 21. Does that look familiar? Yes. Is that the flash drive you watched earlier today? Yes. Are those your initials on there? Yeah. And the date? Yes. <laughs> And I guess before we play it, I'll ask you a few more questions. Um, at some point, after you were finished recording, and we'll get to that part, did you tell law enforcement that you had a video of the incident? Yeah. And did you try to transfer that to a law enforcement officer? Yes. Was there a problem with the transfer? Yes. Um, with the video that you transferred, is it 
garbled in some sense. It's the video. Um, it's like what's the what's the word? It's like blurry because I sent it from my iPhone to the officer's Android phone. All right. After that initial transfer of the video, did you have an issue with your phone? Yes, it had water damage. All right. Did you drop it in the river that day? Yes. Um, was did you try to figure out a way to extract your original video out of the, the phone? Yeah, I tried to do the iCloud because with iPhones you got your iCloud storage, and with Snapchat I tried to see, but um, like with your storage on Snapchat it'll back up to the cloud too. I tried to see if that was going to work, but it never worked. Did you eventually send your phone in to try to be repaired? Yeah. Uh, were they ever able to retrieve the original video you took? No, they only got that that video. All right. At some point, did you tell the police where your phone was, where they were trying to repair it? Yes. And, uh, did Did you give them permission to take it? Yes. Hold up, wait a minute. Let's see that again. So from what I can tell, I think the dark blob on the left is Mew. It's really hard to tell. And there's a lot of people out there that say they can see exactly what's going on in this video. Yeah, so right around here, you can see him step towards someone. I guess that's Isaac. I'm not sure which one it is. But he steps toward him and holds the knife out and, and stabs him. And that's definitely an offensive move. But let's be honest. If I were in that situation, I wouldn't hesitate. I'd be swinging that knife around and sticking it in anyone near me. I mean, he was fighting off attackers. And if I were Nick Mew, and I was sitting in prison over this, there would still be a bright side for me. Because at least I'd still be breathing. Mr. Davis, is that the video that you took back on July 30th of 2022? Yes. As you were recording it, were you watching what was happening at the same time? Yes. What did you see happen? I saw him, I saw him stab. I saw him stab the light skinned dude before and like slice his whole stomach open. And you could see him like push the next person in that video, but it's like real blurry. That's pretty much it. Were you able to tell the people that had been injured? Yes. Did you and your group make any efforts to assist these folks that were injured? Yes. What did you do? Um, me and my brother, we had helped carry. It was a girl. She had got stabbed. And then we helped. It was another dude that got stabbed in like his arm, I think. We helped him. We walked him out the water, too, because he was, like, hysterical. Wait, what? Who got stabbed in the arm? I'm not sure I'm familiar with that story. I don't got a question, John. Mr. Your office. So, Mr. Davis, you provided two interviews to law enforcement. Do you remember that? that yes. Correct? Okay. One on uh, August 10th of 2022, and then another one on March 7th of this year. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. And I want to make sure I understand your testimony correctly in terms of the video. Are you saying that you recorded, there was more video that you recorded, it was just lost in the transfer? Yes. Okay. And is what was lost in the transfer, I mean, you, you've provided the police with information on what you said you saw, right? Yes. Okay. And you were asked today about what you saw, and you said... You saw that a light-skinned dude got stabbed, right? Yes. Did you see more than that? Yeah, it was like a tussle. Okay, well, I'm going to get into that with you for a minute, okay? Um, so what you've provided to the state in terms of what you say you observed, there's much more than that, true? Yes. Okay, and... It, your, um, can I ask you this, is your memory of events 
So you give two statements, one about 11 days after the incident, 12 days, and one 21 months after the incident. Which memory, in terms of the dates when you give those statements, is one better than the other? Well, it would be the one that was closer to the event, that would be better. But I also I gave a statement to the officer that day. Okay. So if I said to you, memories normally better closer in time to an event, would you agree with that? Yes. All right. Now, on the interview that you gave in March of this year, though, you told the police uh, that you remember you remember it like it was yesterday. Remember that? I don't remember saying them exact words, but uh. officer or investigator, sorry, investigator O'Keefe said to you, you said you remember it like it was yesterday, though, and you say yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now and. You had described, at least in your interview with the police, that you were really kind of paying attention to what was going on. Yes. Okay. In your statement in March of 2024, you say, tell me if you remember this, I remember he had a hat on. He had it, he had on. Like, he looked like he wasn't supposed to be in the water. Like, he just came out of, um, he came out of the bushes. He just came out. Do you remember that? Yeah. So is it your testimony today, under oath, that the person involved in this incident had a hat on and came out of the bushes? No. You told the police. I that told them that yes, but I don't. But I don't. Like you said, it could be foggy. I don't think that's what it was no more, though. Okay, well, this is less than a month ago you had this conversation with them, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. And were you intentionally lying to the police? No. Okay. So where do you come up with the idea that he came out of the bushes? Because that's why I saw him running to the bushes after the incident. Okay. And tell me if this is fair. You tell the police, he walks in the water. He had pants on and everything. He had a jacket on. Right? Yeah, I don't recall that. Well, the police say you said it. Do you deny saying it? If, the, if that's what y'all got, I guess, yeah, I said it. I don't, I don't remember saying it, I should say. You don't remember March of this year talking to the police? Yeah, I remember talking to him. I don't remember saying he had a jacket and, and a coat on. Okay. I rem I remember he had he had on he had on a a hat. Okay. And he had on shorts. Okay. I don't remember recalling no jacket though. All right, but you don't dispute that you told the police that. N no. If Why would you tell the police that? Like you said, our memory is a little joggy over two years ago. But you told them that you remembered it like it was yesterday. Right? Yeah. Do you? That was a month ago I said that, though. Okay. So a month ago you remembered 21 months ago like yesterday. In the 26 days that have passed since then, it's all faded. I, I object argumentative. Sustained. You made your point. Okay. You also said to the police, he came out of the bushes, and he was taking pictures of the girls. Yes, I said that. You saw that? No, I said that. I, I understand you said it. Did you see it? Yes. So you saw Mr. Mew with his camera that afternoon taking pictures of little girls. That's what you're telling this jury. Oh, no, no, no. No, that's what I said. No, I, like I said, I understand you said it. Is it true? Oh, I don't know. Why would you say it if you don't know if it's true? It was a lot going on. Uh, well, you see, what had happened was... It, a lot was going on on March, 7, on March 7th of 2024? No, that... Objection argumentative. Overruled. 
Say it one more time for me. I just want to make sure you understand, okay? On March 7th of 2024, you have a, you March. have a, hold on. You have a recorded interview with uh, investigators O'Keefe and Justness, I think is how you pronounce his name. They speak to you about this incident, right? Yes? Yes. And on March 7th of 2024, you tell these law enforcement officers that he comes out of the bushes and that he's taking pictures of girls, right? You yes, that. yes. That's not true, is it? I guess so. That's what... It's, it's hard to say because, like, that's what I recall from the, the date that happened. That's what I was telling the officer. Okay. You'd agree when you were interviewed by the officers back in 2022, you never said anything about him taking photos of little girls, right? Um, I don't remember that. Okay. You don't remember ever telling them that he came out of the bushes either, do you? I know that's, I know I said that. You sure about that, sir? You sure about that? Well, no. It's over two years ago. Okay. I just want you to but I believe that's what I told them. Okay. And you didn't tell them that he was wearing a hat and a jacket and pants back in 2022, did you? But also, 2022, mm -hmm. we, we were on the water. We were drinking and everything. I saw, what I saw was a scuffle and a man stabbing people. Okay, you said much, much more to the police on your interview in March of 2024. You provided far greater details, okay? And okay. That, and that's the stuff that I want to talk to you about. You told the police he walked into the water fully clothed. That's not true, is it? No. You told the, the police he got caught taking pictures of little girls. Objection, ask and answer. Overruled. That's not true, is it? I guess not, no. Actually, can I say I don't know on that one? Thank you, with the with the with the pictures and the girl taking pictures? Let him ask the question and please give an answer. Okay. When this whole thing kind of starts, you're making a, a, a video, you said, right? Yes. Okay. And I think back in, in March, I'm sorry, in August of 2022, you said that you were taking a video, and I don't want to get this wrong, you were recording your girl because you said she was kind of arguing with you. Is that true? No. No? So if you said that, that wouldn't be true. Wait, you said I was recording my girl because she was arguing with me. I, I can just tell you what you said and you can tell yeah. me. Yeah. I'm recording me and my girl because she has an attitude. Yeah, that sounds, yeah. That sounds more. Yeah, that sounds more like it. <laughs> Very good. Um, so you were recording your, your the person you were with because... She but, had an attitude, according to you. Right? But yeah, but in a sense, I was still using this camera. So when I say I did that, it's like this. Okay. And that's how I seen what was going on behind me. Now, okay. You indicated back in August of 2022. They asked you about what you saw when I say they law enforcement, and you said, you know we just drinking and stuff. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. So you weren't paying attention to what was going on. You were just, and that's okay. You were just drinking and stuff. Projection asked me to. Overruled. Great. Is that another thing that I said that was, yes. But I can't just say, you can't just say I wasn't paying attention if I noticed in my phone camera, I was still paying attention. That's how. Mr. Davis, I'm not saying you weren't paying attention. That's what you said. Fine. 
<laughs> this guy is killing so, me. In August of 2022, you say you weren't paying attention. In March of 2024, you said you remembered it like yesterday and were paying close attention. Which one's true? Both of them. That's how I felt when I said it, right? So you have the ability to not pay attention and pay close attention at the same time. No. Then how can they both be true, sir? Objection. You've made your point. Okay. This? You don't have to answer. Your initial interview with um, law enforcement back in August, you indicated that you don't, you said the following, I don't recall like what the old man looked like or anything. I don't even know if it was an old man. Do you recall saying that? Yes? Yep. Okay. So back in August of 2022, you didn't, if, if I'm hearing or reading what you wrote correctly or said, you, you didn't remember what the person who was involved in this, if they were old, young, what, right? Yep. Okay. As this has been going on, um, the case, have you been following it, like, on media, social media? I'm not just talking about the trial. I'm talking about from the time this happened up until now. Have you been trying to gather information from those sources? No, nah, the only thing that I ever seen was right after it happened, the little news article about the stabbing and stuff, and that was pretty much it. Okay. All right, Mr. Davis, thank you for your time, sir. Any questions? Just one question. Mr. Davis, did you know any of these folks other than the people on your tube? Didn't know nobody but my girl, my sister, and her boyfriend, my brother. Nothing else. Thank you. Mr. Trophacy. All right. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Um, the witness coordinator in the back will tell you where to go next. Okay. So, wow. What was the point of that? Did the prosecution even have a plan or did they just bring this guy in because he had a blurry video? And speaking of his blurry video that I really can't make heads or tails of, his vocal testimony was just as bad, if not worse. Nothing here makes any sense. And we're just asking people questions. They might as well just bring some rando off the street in and start questioning them. Seriously, what was the point of this? If it weren't for the video that he brought and all the entertainment that he gave us, I would have just skipped this witness. But hey, I suppose the jury needs a good laugh too, right? So let's not waste any more time with this one. I'm going to move on to the next. And I believe there are two more witnesses left for day three. And I'll be back soon with the first of those two. But I tell you what, I don't know about you. But I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. So as you can plainly see, my son and I are obviously innocent of everything we've ever done wrong. So quit asking about it.